The government has given us advice for wearing masks. You need to wear a mask when you're on the buses, trains or other public transport. From the 15th of June, you will be fined if you are not wearing a mask on public transport. When we breathe, sneeze or cough, droplets can go into the air and cause viruses. Masks can help stop droplets from going into the air. Masks can also help stop droplets going into your nose and mouth, but only if you use them the right way. Wash your hands. Put your mask on before you leave. Fasten it over your ears. Put a clean mask over your mouth and nose. Do not touch your face while you are wearing your mask. Do not touch your mask until you need to take it off at home. Take your bits of your mask that are on your ears, take them from your mouth. Put it in a bag. If it's washable, then put it in the washing machine on a high heat of 60 degrees. Wash your hands. Wool or knitted masks won't work because the holes are too big to stop the droplets. Surgical masks are harder to get because doctors, nurses and carers need them for when they're at work. You can make a mask. Cotton material works the best. You can watch Emily's video to find out how to make a simple mask at home. A mask don't protect you on your own. And don't forget to follow other advice. Wash your hands. Well, do not touch your face. If you've got symptoms, you need to self-isolate. If you live on your own, self-isolate for four, seven days. If you live in a family, you have to isolate for 14 days.